Welcome back to Oracle for Startups, where I interview the entrepreneurs who are innovating with Oracle Cloud. Today, I'm talking to the CEO of Mivatai, a startup platform that takes the bias out of recruiting to help companies build more diverse teams. Let's welcome the CEO, Reham Sati. Reham, thank you for being here. Thanks for inviting me. So tell me about Mivitai. What does your technology do and who are your customers? Yeah, no, of course. So Mivitai was founded in 2014. Got a simple aim, but it's quite hard to achieve. Our aim is to help organizations mitigate biases, but biases and talk about cognitive, um, algorithmic biases in the hiring process to make it a bit more fair and inclusive when hiring people. Um, and we work with organizations in the US and the UK, mostly enterprise. So everything from a thousand employees plus is kind of a, a sweet spot for us. And the unique thing, unique thing we have is we have different um, solutions that plug into existing HR systems. So you never have to plug into a platform or anything like that. We're in the invisible and in the background. So this is a solution that helps reduce unconscious bias. How big of a problem is unconscious bias in hiring? Unconscious bias is a big challenge because the reason why we have biases in the first place is due to our, our brains. Um, and our brains are kind of how we process a lot of information. And therefore, on the back of that, every choice, every decision we make can be skewed. And there's different types of biases. So the first time when we read a CV or a resume or a cover letter, it really impacts who can potentially go through to the, the you know, next step in the hiring process, which can also reduce diversity and inclusion in the workforce, which is one of the main causes, um, and unconscious bias is one of the main causes for the lack of diversity and inclusion in the workforce. So it's a big, big challenge. So are your customers noticing that removing bias parameters, is that helping them focus more on skills and qualifications of their recruits? No, absolutely. And that's one of the aims of one of our solutions. We've got a blind recruiting solution that redacts different types of identifiable information from resumes and cover letters, about 20 different parameters, name or gender, ethnicity, disability. I can go through a whole list. <laughs> and it really has shown an impact because we've seen our clients have reported an increase in gender and ethnicity diversity by about 30%. Actually, so more diverse candidates are getting through to later stages in the hiring process, just by using blind recruiting, for example. So when did you first realize that you wanted to do something about solving that problem? Yeah, so diversity and inclusion, and, and it's always been something that's kind of been to the core of my kind of interests um, and my background. Um, and this kind of stumbled across, in, in this really funny story. So started in about 2014, um, just finishing university, and I was trying to get a, a friend a job. That was the aim. Um, and we tried different methods. And we thought we need to find another way to try and grab these big corporates attention. Um, and we built this kind of like app initially to try and see who would kind of uh, look at his CVs and cover letter. Um, and before we knew it, it was scaling. Um, and lots of people were looking at his resume and cover letter. Uh, funny enough, I got that friend a job. That friend is now the CEO, the CTO and co-founder of Mivitai. So I did my job. <laughs> um, and at the back of that, we just started researching the whole HR space and just realized how fragmented it was. You know, you've got companies on the one side, job seekers and other recruitment agencies in the middle. So the pipeline is very, very convoluted. And being able to create a fair hiring process at the back of every step of the, the way, it's very, very tricky. Um, and so we wanted to create a way that created fairness and created a way that everyone had an opportunity to get a job because of their skills, their competencies, um, rather than who, what they look like or their name. I love what you said about the fragmentation of that, proc of that process. And mm -hmm. you're reducing the fragmentation by integrating with over 20 ATS systems. How did you make that integration happen? I think that comes down to our, our tech team, to be honest, I'll give them credit there. Um, so we made this conscious decision that we didn't want to be a platform. We wanted a way for our clients to be able to still build that inclusive workforce without having to change their ways. Um, because it's, you know, 
create, it's very hard to, to create habits and break them. And so something that can work and exist within existing HR systems or application tracking systems, that even like Oracle to Leo, for example, is a bit more, much more beneficial and easier and streamlined for recruiters and hiring managers to be able to use a solution. And so APIs is a way we connect MeVitae to the client's ATSs. And it all comes down to the fantastic tech team and their ability to be able to do that connection. And I'm in the background kind of, Okay, this is awesome. <laughs> yep, you're the cheerleader as well as the CEO. I am, I'm the cheerleader, rooting everyone. <laughs> so speaking of habits, that's so important to how we get our work done. And in addition to being a founder, you also have a background as a neuroscientist. So I'm, under, I'm wondering, how does understanding brain science help you as an entrepreneur? Really good question. So from the, so before I did medical, you know, neuroscience, I did medical engineering. So I've always had a passion for kind of medicine and engineering together um, and trying to use that to crack problems. Um, and always had a huge fascination of how the brain works and how we work um, and being able to you know, understand and make decisions on the back of that. And I always try and take the neuroscience wherever I go, because I think it really helps to try and uh, just develop my skills and how we kind of do things at Vivitai, right? Because the, the science of diversity and inclusion is really, really going to be, it's a super important topic. Well, thinking differently certainly sets you apart. You actually participated in a recent Startup Idol event where you pitched in front of a panel of industry analysts and walked away with best overall pitch. Can you tell me a little bit about that experience? It was such a kind of amazing atmosphere and environment. There were some amazing businesses there, um, everything from kind of in, the, in the farming industry um, to security and being able to share with people what we do and be able to pitch and say it very, very kind of efficiently. It was just kind of a, a great buzz and to win was just, yeah, it was the, the top. Um, really enjoyed it. And I just kind of really built a lot of connections on the back of that, um, which will, will stay with me forever. That's great. And are you taking advantage of increased exposure or increased connections as being part of the Oracle for Startups program? Oh, yes. Um, and I, I say that with so much enthusiasm because since we joined this program, and I remember the first day I met um, someone in Oracle who actually helped us kind of join this journey. We've made so much connections. We've learned so much. Um, and being able to kind of collaborate and use Oracle technology. And we've actually been, you know, we've had referrals um, because we, you know, we integrate into these ATSs and Oracle uses different, they have different ATSs to lay your enterprise, to lay your business edition, got the, the our HCM as well. And so being able to just connect with people, ask if you have any questions, you know, can you refer us to these clients, these pitching events, that the list can go on, right? Um, and so it's one of those things that it's been such a delight. and every part of our team has gained something on the back of that. What advice do you have for founders who might be considering joining a program like Oracle for Startups? Do it, I just, I don't see why not, right? It's, um, it just, just do it, right? Don't overthink. It's not one of those things where, you know, what if, what if, it's, you only live once and, you know, make sure that you surround yourselves with people who are, you know, well connected, who can help you and guide you, right? And making sure that you have that along the way. Um, and that's really helped us to be able to navigate this space. And we've learned from tech, from business, from marketing, and even having this conversation now, it it's, makes a huge difference. So just my advice to everyone is, you know, take that leap, do it, there's nothing to lose. Well, we love being part of your leap and watching the momentum of Mevitai. If people want to learn more about your startup, where should they go? So first thing to do is check out our website. So www.mevitai.com. Um, feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn as well if you have any questions or queries, um, it, whether it be neuroscience, HR technology, or even our solutions. Um, really kind of happy to speak to anyone. That sounds great. Thanks so much for joining me. No worries. Thank you for today.